Now we're at number four. And the fourth thing you should never tell a man is you need to man up. Now, what I originally had on my list, and I will still include it as like a sub phrase to this uh, fourth point, is you're acting like a little, you can fill in the blank, B and it ends with an H, okay? <laughs> All right, now some of you might be like, I would never say that to a man. Listen, there are plenty of women who have told a man he's acting like a little you know what, all right? Anything like that, man up, you need to be a man, you acting like this, all these things call into question his manhood. All of these things can emasculate him in that moment and can cause him to feel, not even just cause him to feel, it shows a lack of respect, all right? Now, again, I understand that in some moments, he may literally need to step up as a man. He may need to, to grab his cojones, as some people would say, all right, and make some things happen. But as his woman, as the woman he has decided to share life with or to be in a relationship with, okay, he does not need you unless you guys have established that kind of relationship. But I, 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 most men are, are not going to feel good about their woman coming at them like that, all right? What he needs from you in that moment is encouragement, loving encouragement, um, um, you know, trusting in him, saying, I believe in you, you know what I'm saying? These types of things that inspire him and Give him the fuel to quote unquote man up. Give him the fuel to step up in the way that you're looking for. But when you attack him, because those kinds of words are attacks, attacks on his manhood, it can create a lot of problems. Now, here's the other thing you have to understand. And it happens so, so often in so many relationships. So ca calling him a little B, right? Or, or tell me he needs to man up or any kind of insult in that way is essentially what I like to call chopping his balls off. All right. <laughs> just, just work with me here. And so when you chop the man's balls off, what happens is he now looks for other opportunities to reattach his balls. All right. He looks for ways or he, what some may call buck up at you. Now he comes a little bit harder at you because he's trying to regain that manhood, he feels like you kind of took from him in that moment, all right? Or to show you, oh no, you ain't gonna talk to me like that. No, I'm the man here. The problem is that men tend to do this at the worst moment. <laughs> like, he's, he's not properly reattaching his balls in a way that's like, it's gonna be healthy, no. Because he's just looking for any opening to essentially reassert himself. And so now what, what happens is it turns into this very negative cycle. And I have literally coached couples where they're having all these other issues on the surface. Well, he doesn't do this and she doesn't do that and so on and so forth. But at the very root of it all, is she disrespecting him? When I say she disrespected him, I mean, she showed a blatant, lack of respect in a way that she came at him that it started that whole process of you chop the ball he's not trying to re reattach them and it becomes this toxic cycle that goes on forever now some may say well if she attacked him he did something first that argument can be made in some situations but the point is it's one thing for him to blatantly do something disrespectful and then you're disrespectful in return not that that's healthy Either way, if we, we should not answer disrespect with disrespect. We should not tolerate disrespect. And if, we, and if the person is not going to correct the issue, we leave them alone. But the minute we pour disrespect back into it, we're not going to have this back and forth battle going on. And what starts off as that one incident will snowball into bigger problems. So again, you have to be very careful with your words and you have to be very mindful that in that moment, where you feel like, let's just say deep inside, you just feel like he's not being what in your eyes, man enough right now, all right? 
again, then encourage, encourage, speak life into that man. And I feel the need to say this. If you feel like encouraging and speaking life has not gotten you anywhere, then the question becomes, are you even with the right man? You should not feel like you have to cross disrespectful lines to try to light a fire in him. Because even if it lights a fire in getting him to do whatever in that moment, you planted the seed of toxic energy, of disrespect, of all these other things that will now grow into bigger problems. So again, it can be tempting in those moments or some moments you just lose, lose sight of things. It gets the best of you and you say these disrespectful things. And if you ever have, because maybe some of you watching this have already done some of this, all right? Then you've already come out, come out of your mouth with these words. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge that it was a problem. Acknowledge that it was wrong. Take accountability for it and work towards doing things better moving forward. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check this one out right here. And I'll see you there. A woman who walks in her femininity walks in her power. And I'm about to help you access that power by giving you five feminine traits men find irresistible in women. Now listen,